This tutorial covers challenge 6 square in the FTC simulator. If you ever need a refresher on the steps, you can click the green logic word button and at the top click guide to help you navigate. Hello everyone, my name is Sunish from Youth Culture and we'll be working with the FTC Sim Movement lesson. We also have Costa here who will be working through the simulator with us. Hi everyone, my name is Costa and as Sunish said, I'll be running through this tutorial with everyone as Sunish narrates. Perfect. So first we will click the green logic board button on the left and before we select and click any block, it is important to click the zoom button on the right of the logic board for better viewing. So we will first add our reverse block at the beginning under put initialization blocks here. So now just to map out our plan for this challenge, we'll be moving in a square shaped route to reach the flag. Our first step is to go straight towards the first corner of the path. To do this, we will add our first motor block and set it to one and one for both motors and add it under put run blocks here. After this block, we will add our sleep block and since we want the robot to travel all the way till it reaches the first corner, we will set the value for the milliseconds to 900 here. From here, we will have our robot make our turn right. So we will add a motor block here and set it to one and negative one for the left and right motor. So similar to the last challenge, uh, this turn that we're going to make is quick. So when we add our sleep block right under our last motor block, we'll set its value to 150 milliseconds. So now we want to repeat our code for traveling forward with the robot and making a right turn for two more times before our last corner. So this includes the first motor block where our value is set to one and one, our sleep block where our milliseconds are 900, um, our second motor block is one and negative one, and then our second sleep block, which is at 150 milliseconds. We want to repeat these four blocks two more times. So once we've reached our last corner and repeated our code for traveling forward and taking a right three times in total, our objective is to just go straight towards the flag from here. So in this case, we'll just simply add one more motor block and set it to one and one, and add it right under our last sleep block. And let's click run to see what happens. Perfect, so now we've completed challenge six. Just to add one more thing, uh, you should click save at the end of your challenge to save your code. Now that I have directed this, cha this challenge and Tunisia has narrated it, here are some things I learned. For this challenge, the objective was to move the robot along a square path. Regardless of how hard a challenge may look, I have realized that for the most part, the challenges have a pattern to them. For example, the numbers used for sleep blocks are 900 and 150 in a continuous pattern. Furthermore, moving in a straight direction and rightwards, repeated three times as well. It is also important to map out what you will do in the challenge mentally, as the steps become more familiar and easier to remember. Thanks for tuning in. Bye now.